What's up guys? Today we're talking about the best apps for kids with cancer. Are you a kid with cancer? Well, I'm PT Dan, the Kids Cancer PT. It's good to see you. So recently I was able to catch up with a former patient of mine and a friend who talked with me about the best apps for kids with cancer. Cause I mean, I can give you my opinion, but honestly, wouldn't it be nice to hear from someone else who's been in your position? Now I'm gonna warn you right off the bat, the best apps in my opinion, they all have to do with physical activity. Did you know that years ago, they used to encourage people with cancer not to exercise? They didn't want them to overdo it and they knew they'd get very fatigued. So a lot of healthcare professionals used to say, mm, don't exercise, you know, just rest, just try to rest. We actually know today that the opposite is really true. If you don't use it, to some degree, you lose it. There are many, many wonderful apps that will help keep you distracted and to help pass the time on those long hospital stays. But what I'm talking about, is physical activity apps. So, I, there they are. Oh my, I'm surrounded. They're everywhere. Anyway, we're gonna take a look at these apps and I'm gonna talk to my friend Dylan about these apps and see what he thinks. Why don't you join us? All right, so we are gonna rate these apps. We got a five point scale and we'll see how they rank up. Dylan, specifically, I've got a few that I wanna run by you, but I'm talking to you because, well, you're a, you're a two-time cancer survivor. Unique thing about you is you actually have an amputation. So whenever you're going through treatment, you're going through chemo, exercise doesn't sound great, does no. it? No. If we're gonna consider this five-star app, it needs to comply with current scientific recommendations for exercise, provide incentives and motivation, to start and keep going. It needs to provide a variety of exercise types. It needs to be accessible for different skill levels and different ability levels. And it needs to provide some sort of safety or accountability with your cancer rehab team, like a graphical representation of your progress that you can share with your, with your healthcare team. What I wanna do is run a few by you today mm -hmm. and we're gonna work through them together and just see what we like and don't like. And then we can rate them out of five, okay. cool? Sounds good. Let's talk about one of them that I think is interesting, but it's probably geared towards people much younger than you. This app called Walker. So Walker gives you rocket fuel for your video game aircraft. You can explore the galaxy uh, using your, your video game rocket that you get fuel for by walking in real life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it'd okay. be a lot of fun. I mean, it's something that gets you outside because you're like, well, I gotta go get fuel for my Even rocket. Even playing on the playground or something. Yeah, that, the more you move, the better you mm -hmm. do, the more fuel you get for your rocket. Does Walker show how far you've been in the galaxy? It does. It would show you different because you do it by planets explored. You can go okay. to the oh, I can make it to that. What planet if you make now. it to like Pluto? Where, where do you go then? Pluto's not a planet anymore. So I know. Don't have to worry. <laughs> I know, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah, if a kid came in, they could show me how many planets they've explored, and if they're getting through a galaxy, they bring that into me. I'm like, okay, you're obviously walking yep. quite a bit. Does it comply with the current ACSM guidelines or current scientific guidelines for kids with cancer? Probably not. I mean, no. it, I mean, it might, but it's really going to have to be uh, a PT or an exercise physiologist or somebody like that in the driver's seat of this app, helping a patient use it. So, would you also say kids are don't always just need to get exercise? They also could get other things like stretching, yes, muscle growth. That's on true areas. too. You know, and they really don't get that with Walker. It's yeah. it's one exercise. Yeah. Would that one be better for maybe when you're on chemo? It and they want be. you to get out and maybe walk around a little more, get out of your just house. Go through the hospital. Of, just get your heart rate maybe a little up. And yeah, that's true. Good thought. And it does provide you in, with uh, incentive to start and keep going. The planets have different things about yeah. them, so you can go explore them. And it's literally like you're exploring a whole new world thing. Not like the one in Aladdin, but you know, like the whole new world that's more like, yeah. like the, 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 this world, the one that we live in. Yes, Dan. Yeah. <laughs> it's accessible to different skills and ability levels assuming they have the ability to move with their phone on them. I think the somewhere. best thing about it is that it tracks and like gives you a reward for walking. Today we're giving Walker a... Three out of five. Three out of five, not bad. Nike Training Club, basically an app that just has things to supplement single sport training, wide variety of exercise types and lengths. 
They don't specify. So this would be more sports types? Yeah, 180 free workouts, and it's supposed to supplement. Oh, okay, well, if you're in basketball, okay, you can go in and like, okay, I'm going to do a basketball-style workout or something. Does it comply with current scientific guidelines for a, an at-risk population like kids with cancer? Probably not. Probably not. Does it provide incentives and motivation to start and keep going? If you're motivated by progress, maybe. Maybe if you're trying to get back into a sport. Yeah. I think your motivation can't really come from the app. It has yeah. to come from wanting to do something Maybe else. if you want, if you're coming off a of cancer treatment, you want to maybe get back into playing basketball with your buddies. Yeah. Or something like that. It Sound will familiar? give you drills and, yeah. Yeah. Variety of exercise types presented. Yes. Yes. That's, I mean, 180 yeah, just... different exercises, right? Accessible to different skill and ability levels. Yeah, it's scalable. I mean, to some degree. Depends on what do you want to do. they allow you to choose your own? Or do they yes, choose it for but you? it's really built around your sport and it doesn't accommodate certain special needs that you might have in a in a group of but maybe, cancer patients. Maybe it says it's allowing you to pick, it'll allow you to choose the ones that you feel like you'll be able to achieve. Does it provide some safety and accountability for your cancer rehab team? What do you think? Uh, yeah, because you could probably choose where to do it. True. And I think, like, if you brought this into me, I'd be like, oh, you're working out with that? Yeah. Awesome. That's great. Okay, and then show me what you've been doing. Show me the exercises you've been doing. Yeah. And then I'm fine with it. I'm like that's that makes me happy. Thing. You have to do the the accountability selfie mm -hmm. like every single every single day, like or the like, Instagram. Yeah, accountability like thing. snapshot of you doing yes. each exercise. Uh, it's safe to say we can give Nike Training Club four out of five. Yeah, four out of five stars is good. One of the interesting ones that I found out there is called Charity Miles. The more you work out, the more steps you collect, it donates money towards a charity. Okay. I think it's a novel approach, and it, it could work. It could be a very good thing. Yeah, if I was more of a runner, I would definitely. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm going to put in 16 miles so I can save three puppies today. So, mm -hmm. yeah. The one thing, do they track? They probably are trackable on some level, I bet. I bet you can track it if you showed yeah. somebody your workouts. Uh, again, this is one of those things where it's, they don't have a wide variety. Um, they don't necessarily comply with ACSM guidelines. Is it accessible to different skill and ability levels? Not really. I mean, it's, it's walking. If you assume yeah. you can walk, because it's going to measure all that. The incentive part is off the chart, though. So we're going to give, sadly, Charity Miles, great idea. Really awesome idea, actually. Uh, but we're only able to give it a one star. Mm -hmm. Kind of sad. If give you're back. just a runner and just like yeah. to go out running every day, I think this would be a great app for you. That's true. That's a good segue, actually, into the Pokemon Go and the Harry Potter app and the Jurassic Park mm -hmm. app. Not a variety of exercise. Yeah. They are uh, tracking geographical location and therefore distance. But also for like cancer patients, it wouldn't be very well since like there's more things that pop up in more highly populated areas. So True. would you want cancer patients going into where you're with a bunch of people? So that's the big dangerous thing with those some of those apps is that it puts you without supervision. Like it puts you in a could be a dangerous spot. They're just walking. They run straight into a pole. <laughs> just like looking at their phone, not even paying attention. Well, I also caught a Pidgey, so we're good. So anyway, these apps provide excellent motivation. They're good for getting a, a, probably a smaller kid yeah. out, I would think. And you know, with supervision, they can be a safe, fun, effective way to get exercise and using a video game uh, backdrop to that exercise. So there's some neat stuff there. Let's talk about a, an app that's uh, kind of interesting, Habits. Um, I don't know if you've heard of this one. I haven't heard of this one. Habits is an app that you can use for exercise or anything really if you're trying to train a healthy habit it's designed for a parent to use with a kid to help them uh to give some positive reinforcement so okay. let's say i'm a really picky eater and all i want to eat is tacos you want me to eat some vegetables you say okay well if you start to eat some vegetables you can use the app and we'll start to give you some points for these vegetables you're eating and you can turn those points in and get something from the store that's online okay bike ride around the neighborhood today mm -hmm. every day yeah maybe at yeah. the end of the week okay you've got enough points to get whatever thing shifting gears let's talk about a program it's a new app it just came out in september it's by coleman llc and it's called cancer exercise cancer exercise is designed for people like you they've built it around the the recommendations by the american college of sports medicine okay uh so they have guidelines that were just recently published this past fall about uh, exercise for cancer survivors uh, physical therapists uh, oncology specialists uh, worked with the American College of Sports Medicine to develop these guidelines through research, through evidence. So then they're applying this now to the app. It does have that as its backbone. 
Mm -hmm. Now, what they put on top of that is really where the rubber meets the road. Because Dylan's available and was agreeable to doing it, I let him test drive the app. And so we are going to talk now about how somebody would use cancer exercise. The very first thing you're doing is entering some stuff. What do they have you enter? Your name, your weight, your height, and I'm pretty sure what diagnosis you, you okay. had at one point. Now, I want to ask though, you had... Ewing sarcoma, a bone cancer. Yes. Was your diagnosis on that? No, they had you put other. Other. So they ask you for information, they ask you about diagnosis, um, and then do they ask you what kind of exercises you're interested in or what kind of activities you like? I don't know if it did ask me that or not. Okay. Whenever you sign on, you have all these resources, and then the first thing, does it let you jump in and start exercising right away? No, they have you start by doing a one minute walk. Probably a six minute walk yeah, test, six like an endurance walk test. A, and then yeah. a sit down, get up. 30 seconds, how many times you can do it in 30 seconds. Up and down, yep. yep. And you know what's funny? I actually use those in the clinic. Those are what I use to rate people's endurance level. They didn't ask you if you had limb loss, did no. they? There, there may not be something that's tailored to you or taking into account what you've lost. Mm -hmm. All right, that's a really good point. What they built into the app is the little sliding fatigue scale, um, little colors and stuff, mm -hmm. like highly fatigued or or less fatigued, and you can kind of rate where you're feeling that day, because, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, each day is different, right? Yep, um, especially on chemo, when you're going yeah. through it. Yep, so maybe a day where you just got chemo, probably a lousy day, right? Mm -hmm. um, couple days after? Mine was throughout the week it got better. Truthfully, what you're saying is, every day is different, and it's not always predictable yeah. how that day is gonna be. So, something that gauges how tired you are at the beginning can keep you safe while mm -hmm. you're exercising. Let's say you're using this app and you're really, really tired. What protection is in place whenever you're doing this that keeps you from doing something dangerous? They start to say, just stop and stretch and breathe. The nice thing about having a safeguard like that, and I, I tell people this all the time, like, don't try to push yourself on the bad days. All it's gonna do is make you hate working out. Yeah. If you try to push yourself on the bad days, you'll end up hating exercise, and that's a very dangerous place to be. Yeah. Let's apply that rating scale, and let's see how uh, cancer exercise measures up. Yeah. Does it comply with current scientific recommendations for exercise for cancer patients or cancer survivors? And I would say yes, a hearty, yeah. that's a hearty yes. Does it provide incentives or motivation to start exercising? There's no reward scale to it or anything that will make you keep wanting to exercise. Let's talk about variety of exercise types presented. Yeah, there or many types of exercises they're probably gonna give you. Absolutely, that's that stretch and breathe uh, section for a day where there's high fatigue. Mm -hmm. I think that's perfect. Accessible for different skill and ability levels. Well, I think we kind of talked about that. It does give you like, oh, you wanna do strengthening or oh, you wanna do aerobic or whatever, that kind of mm -hmm. thing, and you can switch it off. And it also gives you a countdown mark for those, oh, I need to get more aerobic in this week or I need to get more resistance, one more resistance in or two or whatever. Yeah. Provide some sort of safety or accountability to your rehab team, cancer rehab team, and does it give you what you need to be able to uh, to show me or somebody like me, hey. Definitely, because even you said you do the sit up, sit and stand, yes. and it shows you how you're increasing every time you take it. Yeah, yep, it, it puts that carrot yeah. out in front of you and says, hey, uh, you can get better at this one thing. Well, you know a physical therapist or an exercise physiologist or somebody like me is gonna come in and ask you or try to give you one of those tests. Well you know you're getting better. I come in, I look at that app, and I look at your, your progress, I'm gonna be stoked. I think they've built a pretty good app here. We should probably talk about some things that could be added mm -hmm. since we're doing this review. Be able to say, hey, I'm an amputee, Yeah. what can I do? That's not, that's not a bad thought. You should be able to maybe put in what you wanna focus on or what type of exercises you wanna focus on instead of mm -hmm. them making one for you right off the bat. Yep, it's probably hard to leverage whether you start asking those questions right off or if you get people exercising right away. Yeah. <laughs> it would be nice if up front it said, what are your goals? Like, what, what is your goal yeah. for, like, what's, what are you looking towards for activity? What type of activities are you wanting to do? Yeah, so maybe a couple of things before you ever get started. Yeah, would be asking nice. some, while making your profile. The, or if throughout the app you could, if they have it listed as this exercise, just say, this one I can't do. Like, a mark X on it or something. That's true. Um, being able to tailor it, it as you go would be awesome. Mm -hmm. You're um, you're very motivated to exercise, but mm -hmm. I think that if you, uh, if we're looking at you 12 months ago, yeah. uh, you giving you an app like this back then, that actually might have been a key factor in helping you do anything, do something, you know? Yeah. Because this is 
designed to work with somebody like you who you know maybe was going through cancer treatment mm -hmm. it would be so cool if you could establish an email link to me uh, as your PT something like that so as you're doing these exercise programs every day that you're actually doing something in the app it sends me a little thing or you could set them up a plan and that'd be cool too I'd love to be able to tailor it but you know what else I'd like to do on the other end this is my kind of my deal is like I really want and you, to see really what want, type of they like yeah I really want to encourage you I want to be able to say back to you hey you're doing a good job this is great I saw you get into this thing I saw what workout you did excellent job I know it's hard keep going don't give up or even okay. like if you could see the type of workouts they're doing because you can see what they like and yep. then for when you're scheduling PT you can create or give them more things like it that yep. may benefit them more than the one they're doing right yep. now thanks for talking to me today of course go. let's go ready set well, it sure was fun to catch up with my friend Dylan I hope you guys enjoyed meeting him too what did you think of these apps I mean there's lots of things out there to help people get active oh my goodness they're back again there they are They're amazing. Hope they don't fall on me. If you're a parent watching this, or even if you're a kid with cancer, maybe you found something that's right for you. Whatever gets you off the couch or out of bed and exercising will help improve your life. We're all about that. Restore, rebuild, reclaim your world thing here at the Kids Cancer PT. Thank you for joining us. It's so good to spend this time with you. No matter what cancer may try to do, be you. And have a great day. It's cancer PT.